Welcome back to another episode of Jurassic World the Game! Yeah, that's right, we're back! And I have just completed the Mylodon Tournament. This, if you don't know, is a creature that you'll need for the Trade Harbor to unlock. I think it's Bajadasaurus or Badada. That one. Anyway, we've unlocked it. Oh, God. Yes, that was half the trouble. Actually, this was a really easy tournament because I noticed it early, which is brilliant. So we have got lots to do in this episode as well as news. Because in my last video, I, I posted about there being a, a new creature coming. Uh, it was like the Caprodactylus and something else. But apparently it turns out that I've, oh, I've already got two of them, but I haven't locked it now. I didn't have it before. I, I locked it. Sorry, I can't even talk today. <laughs> um, yeah, so we've unlocked this thing now. In the last video, I mentioned about the Caprodactylus and there was another one in there. But apparently, it's been brought to my attention. Uh, Tiger Place, who's been very generous in bestowing th their knowledge to me, that those have been in the game for a long time and they have been cancelled, supposedly. And also, hold on, they brought to my attention that we have not had a hybrid in such a long time. When was it we last had a hybrid? Well, anyway, it's been a long time since we've had a hybrid, and I think it was one of the amphibians was the last hybrid we had involved in this game. So they have put so many creatures in. But before we get into the meat and bones of today's video, there has been something come to the game. Something that I could even possibly make a Jurassic World Rebirth theory video on. And that is, I'll put up these images now. Uh, let me just go grab them right here. Yes, so this is the first one. This is taken. I don't know who's who's got it, but it was sent to me. Um, this is a the Spino. Now, yes, Caprodactylus and the other creature have, have been taken out, and that's a shame. But we have a celebrity dinosaur, another new one. That's what I like to call these things. So I've always called them since God twenty like sixteen or no twenty eighteen no twenty sixteen probably. Um, and those are creatures that exist in the movie franchise to come over to here. And the Spino is interesting because I don't think the Spinosaurus ever had a name. Unlike Rexy was Roberta, I think it was, or something like that. Uh, well, it was always known as Rexy, I suppose. The Tyrannosaurus Rex from Jurassic Park and the rest of the franchise. But the Spinosaurus never had a nickname and they've just called it the Spino. And it starts, yeah, it, it kind of looks like just a regular sort of tournament creature. Uh, not a tournament with celebrity dinosaurs, but really the one we're most looking forward to is this thing that looks like a bloody parrot and it is Scorpius Rex Gen 2 with stats of 9,049 health and 5,026. I am very, very curious as to where that puts it in here. We're talking about an attack on par with Metrophodon. We're, we're talking about an attack on par with Indoraptor. And yet, it has 1,000 less health than Indoraptor at level 40. And it also has 4,000 extra health than Metrophodon. We're talking about probably the second best creature in the game, bar none. So it's unfortunate that it's going to be another... Uh, what do you call it? Another carnivore? Because we've had so many carnivores. Oh yeah, let me just collect all these. I've saved these together just for you guys. I just love you so much. Um, so yeah, we are going to be getting another uh, hybrid. It's going to be Scorpius Rex. Now, uh, Tiger Plays did tell me what you need to make it, just in case you guys want. So Scorpius Rex Gen 2 is made from Giganotosaurus Gen 2 and Irritator Gen 2. Because we were always wondering, like, what would you use to make it? Because, like, uh, Indoraptor, or sorry, Indominus Rex Gen 2 already has a hybrid. And we're not going to use Indoraptor or anything for a hybrid, because that would be insane. The amount of DNA you need for a level 40 for a start. Um, so, yeah, it's going to be Giganotosaurus Gen 2 and Irritated Gen 2. Probably because those are both creatures that I don't think they have hybrids. I, c I could be wrong. Let's have a look. We'll go into here, go into Carnivores. It's not alphabetical, but Irritated Gen 2, we already have a level 40. Boom! Half the battle done. Right, the next one is Giganotus Associated. We're ready. We're ready. We are ready. Get in. Okay, so one of the best creatures in the game. Really, probably going to get it to level 30, maybe, I would say. But I think going forward in this game, a rule of thumb is to never get a dinosaur. If you, I mean, if you're at my stage, you've got everything at level 40 or most things at level 40 and hybrids unlocked. 
going forward now, only ever get level 30s. Because, and I, because of this, mainly. Yeah, like the thing is, if they ask for a level 40, brilliant, make a level 40. But a lot of the times they only ask for a level 30. And in doing so, you know, if you've got level 40, it's, you're, it's basically throwing away two level 30s. So at this stage, if you've got dinosaurs, I, like, like I have, I've got loads of ones that needs hatching. Basically, all you need to do is hatch them and don't sell them. Because what I was doing was I was hatching all my dinosaurs and selling them because I need DNA, right? But the thing is, once you sell them, you can't. You have to buy them back for twice the price because you sell them for half the price. So at the moment, we have six days left for Panthera and 13 days left for Bajadasaur. That's the one, Bajadasaurus. So Bajadasaurus is equal, so much more annoying because it asks for a level 40 Spino and Panthera also asks for a level 40 Spino. So that's really nice. I love that we need to make, you know, 16 Spinosaurs. That's great. I love that. But at, at the moment, what I'm doing is I'm just throwing loads into the um, into this. And we did lose the incubators. I think somebody also said that Beaver, they've, they've done this before. And it's only for a limited time. So I didn't realize that. I apologize that it's gone, but I think they should really keep that in there. Put a level so, uh, 75 buck in there, put a 100 buck in there, at least give the people the option. And that's what I said worked so well about it, was that you give the decision, you put the decision into the consumer's hands. And I think that's good, you know, rather than block it out. It's like, oh, well, you can speed it up if you want to for even more. Or, you know, it's an alternative if you just want to put something in. So, why are we here today? Well, I mean, let's have a look if we've got anything good. Like, even this, Deodocorus. I don't want to sell this anymore. Normally, I'd be like, instant DNA. Nowadays, not so much. 9,000 bucks for one of those. Hey, <laughs> oh, 3,000 for that. I do. That's all absolutely horrendous. Uh, now, we do have the... We have a tournament coming up for VIPs, I think. Is it a VIP tournament? Or maybe it's not. It must be a regular tournament. My bad. Which one are you? Wait, where are you? Wait, where are you? Yeah, there you are. Okay, three, three days and we've got Ophthalmosaurus. So right now, I think I've got... Yeah, we just need to get you to level 40. Okay, that's great. We're not going to fuse it because, uh, of course, we're not going to fuse it. That would be a terrible, terrible decision to do. So we've got level 40 uh, Ragisaur, a level 40 Dimetrodon, level 30 Ghost. We've got Cryolophosaurus getting there. Okay, and then what I'll do is I will spend 25 bucks to just put another one in because I want those out as quickly as possible. And the next things we really need to work for is the... Oh, Sinsadosaurus, actually. We've already got a level 30 because we've got a level 20 and then two level 10s. Perfect. Br br brilliant. So we don't need to worry about that. This guy, we need to get another two in order, but that's, that's okay. I think I've just hatched, yeah, I've hatched six of those, so I need two more of those guys. Andrew, oh, it's not Andrew Sarkis, it's Megistor, Megistotherium, Meg Megistotherium, Therium, okay, whatever. Anyway, that one, we need more of that, and of course, Spinosaur, uh, we don't even have a, the first one level 40, we need to make two level 40s. Uh, 275, yeah, you know what, we'll do that, we'll, we'll do that. Um, so yeah, this, this is the point in the video where I would start talking about uh, how how you doing what's going on in your lives today have you had a good day i don't know why i'm talking like this <laughs> to you guys you never can tell what the day is going to turn out like i bet you didn't expect me to speak like that and now 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 your world is filled with endless possibilities if beaver can speak in this weird accent that i cannot place what what can happen then the next time i step out the door will the sky be pink will the floor be lava you just don't know. Take that step. Live life on the edge. Yep, I had no idea I was going to go on that spiel, but here we are. <laughs> hey, so it was 275, but we got 400 DNA. And of course, we get five extra Raptor DNA. Beautiful. Uh, yeah, and we should have this unlocked as well. Brilliant. So we still have 11 days and so many more missions. So we may as well just collect all of these. We'll just see how much we get. Loads of lottery tickets three, and hundreds and hundreds of extra books and uh, micro SDNA, which is also going to be good. And with all those packs, we also get lots and lots of loyalty points. Maybe I shouldn't have clicked this. Maybe this is 
Oh, oh, we're, we're, we're gonna be here for a while, aren't we? <laughs> Whoopsie daisy. Well, actually, as soon as we get a, like, a placeable Charlie, I think it is, which is this one, then I think it'll stop the auto collection. And I think you get one quite early on. It's weird, because now they've doubled up some of the prizes for the the grand premium pass, I think it is. Which is odd. I guess instead of making it 2,000 points now, it's like 1,500. But you get double the pointage now. I wonder if they're doing some sort of test to see who, well, which one works best, who they get the most, uh, like, microtransactions. If it's double the prizes or a little bit longer. It's like YouTube thumbnails at the moment, you know. YouTube has got that thing where you could have, you could try three different thumbnails and it'll test it and see which has the highest click-through rate. Mmm, yeah, so unless you're the previous privileged few YouTubers who had that, like, for a year or something. God, man. Before the rest of us plebs. <laughs> the gum on the boot of YouTube. <laughs> no, no, of course not, no. I remember when YouTube first recognized me. Oh, yes. I was flown to London. By flown, I mean I took a train down south because I live in the UK. <laughs> oh, but that was really cool. I, I, you know... God, I mean, I was talking to Winnie actually the other day just about how far, like, how different life has been since, you know. I basically, I think I dated Winnie for a year before I started YouTube. So she really saw me go from, you know, I, I originally, I, a little bit of a little backstory, let's talk about, I'm already old, I'm so old. Uh, I used to do thumbnails for uh, certain creators. I mean, I'm pretty sure they wouldn't care if I said who their name was. Um, and they, they were uh, very uh, kind, very very generous. I would I would say generous, actually. I looked back at how much they were, they were charging me for uh, the commissions I was doing for them. Because basically, I wouldn't make the full thumbnail, I would just make assets. So they would give me a really low uh, poly image, like they took a screenshot of something in game, and then I would remake that in vector format, like tracing it and then I would, you know, I'd go like one step beyond and I'd make it riggable, you know, like I'd, I'd have the arm as one separate image. So if, if, it, I, if I really want, oh, we got beta, sweet. Um, yeah, that's a good pack. They're really rare, those ones. And you always seem to get a guaranteed, like a celebrity dinosaur from me. But yes, uh, so if you wanted to animate, you could actually animate with them because I was doing Flash at the time. And um, I remember I was, it was Christmas and they, obviously, the game had just released a Christmas update and they quickly messaged me and went, can I, oh, I need this, I need this, like, today. Like, because obviously he, they, or they needed the video um, because they wanted to cover it as soon as you can, you know, the whole, the way you need to be with YouTube, right? You need to be the first to cover it. And there we go, it stopped. It took so long to get to a level, a level, uh, what do you call it? An, or instant evolution. Charlie, yes. So we've got all the Rexes together. We need to put all the Raptors together, I think. That that would... I, I'd, I'd be also kind of curious how many Raptors we have. But yes, so they asked... Oh, 800 for that. Jesus. Oh, all right then. How many was that? Like four? Three. Should be three. Three packs almost. Yeah, so they wanted me... 90, I'm not worth it. They wanted me to create that, that thumbnail for them. And I was like, well, it's Christmas. Like, I, I want to do, you know, I want to spend time with Christmas. I, I can't bother. Oh, no, I can't bother. Like, I, if you need it after Christmas, I can give it to you. But I'd rather just spend Christmas with my family. And then they were like, I'll pay you triple. <laughs> to be fair, they weren't paying me much to begin with. And for me, as, you know, I was, well, like 20, 21 at the time and just starting out. I was like, triple the heck, yeah. So, yeah, I, uh, what? Did you just see, did you just see my VIP points go absolutely nuts there for a second? Pretty sure I had like 900,000 for a moment. Oh, okay, well, anyway. Uh, so yeah, I, I, I did it. I got them, I, you know, I got nice. It didn't take too long. I mean, I spent enough time and it was a couple of hours, but, um, and I don't begrudge them asking for me to work on Christmas because they, they just asked and they often. It wasn't as if they were holding me. You know, ransom or you know, at gunpoint, like, or else I'll never work with you again. Um, but what what stopped me working for them in the end was that the game company actually started sending them assets. So no longer did they need me to to do it, and uh, they check in with me every now and again, every every five or six years, <laughs> just to see how I'm I'm getting on, because uh, it's it's just interesting.
Yeah, very, very interesting. I, I have no bad blood between us two at all. We've never really collabed or anything like that. But it's just, um, I look back now and I think, like, wow, you really didn't charge me anything for those. <laughs> but, you know, it was a different time. It was a different time. Um, so, yes, there we go. Charlie is the youngest of, the, of Owen's Raptor Pack. Oh my god! I didn't actually know that! Is that true? Charlie's green color pattern comes from the iguana DNA infused within her genome. Charlie is famous for taking down several Indian troopers in the Jurassic World escape incident. And like her sisters, Charlie became subservient to the Indominus Rex as a pack leader during the Jurassic World escape incident. It's all incidents, incident, incident. But she died. <laughs> or was it a boy? I guess Charlie could be a girl's name or a boy's name, couldn't it? So is that everything or have I got, have I got even more? Oh my God. Okay, we don't have too much more. We have so many. We've got so much, like thousands upon thousands of DNA, which is, you know, it, it's it's false. You know, it, it gives you the impression that it's really good. Although we've got thousands of books, which is brilliant. But really, you may as well be getting, uh, I don't know actually, but it's not much. Oh, Borea Pelter. That was a good pull there. Damn, that, that pack wasn't a guaranteed good dinosaur. That was a good one. Yes. Oh, another. So that is how many? We've got four Charlies now. That's pretty, We need to keep these at level 10, actually, because we've got the event to do. I keep, I almost forgot about that event. So how many more? Oh, God. Yeah, we'll get that Charlie as well. That's to hatch, though. And then another five of those. And then and we've got a pack here. This is the final pack with 4,000 extra DNA. And the seasonal chance. So what are the chances? So you got 1% chance to get a beta. Is Borea Pelter really? 1% chance! And look at all the stuff we could have got. And we got that. See, that's what I was expecting. We got Borea Pelter less than 1%. And we actually got that. Oh my god. Is that what the kids say? <laughs> I just love embarrassing you. We've also got all the seasonal stuff, which we don't need to worry about too much. Um, I keep on clicking. I see green. It's going, whoa, whoa, whoa. No, 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 no. I don't need it. So we also have the Battle Stage Infinite, which is a good one to do. And we'll, it's a rare pack as well, which almost guarantees at least 100 bucks. It's not guaranteed, but it's pretty close. So let's have a look at the Charlie event. Collector's Exchange. It's like Panther. But, it, you know, there's like 3% chance of getting a ghost. So, I mean, I think everything in here is something that you need to get, Panthera. Here is a new challenger. So you need to do one, two, three, four, five battles. And as you can see, they're pretty hot. This is where we uh, tea break. Have a, have a sip of your tea. Ooh. We need to select Charlie because it's it's a minimum, I think. So there's the echoes, those bulls. There's the Charlie. So Charlie out first because it would just fodder it off. Um, and next, That amphibian at the end. That ba ba Bagheerosaurus, what are you going to call it? Ba ba beige, Beigeosaurus. Is a bit of a thorn in my side here. Although it's not crazy attack. So I think what I should do is this. Because I want to get rid of Dracoceratops, Indoraptor Gen 2. I really don't have any good amphibians. In fact, that one, the, the Beigeosaurus, is supposed to be really good. So, maybe one day we'll get it, but at the moment, we've got Scorpius Rex Gen 2 coming out, which is going to cost maybe 90, if not more, 90,000 DNA. So, it's kind of what I expected, but I'm going to go for reserves here, expecting them to switch, because there's no point. I think that, yeah, they have to switch. I can't die in one. Freaking goes for it though, the cheeky git. <laughs> you will die. Right, okay. You can't kill me now. Pitiful. Now, 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 now. Oh yeah, nothing it can do. I hope if it goes for four, that would be so good. Please, Raptor Jesus. Ah, oh, three will do. Thank you. Right, that's good. That's good. Uh, because then I can go for that, kills it, and then do that. And then we are sorted. Woo! Yep. Yeah. Okay, so we need to do this four more times. And then the, the prize at the end is a charm. Really good. Because you need to do this event. In order to get a level 40 of the, the creature, 
You need the Grand Premium Pass, so you need the extra rewards, and you need... I'm gonna do that. I think he had two blocks. Oh, he did factor in the two. Brilliant. I'm not even paying attention. <laughs> I'm just so good at the game. So yeah, you need to do the Grand Premium, and you need to do this event. Because if you don't do the event, you'll be stuck at a level 30 and three level... Two level 20. No? A level 20 and two level... And one level 10. You're missing one. Is It's basically what I'm trying to get across here. <laughs> Right, there you go. Draco Saratops. Done. Done and done. Right, 75 DNA. Okay, the next one. Oh, brilliant. Perfect. Splendiferous, if that's a word. Right, there we go. We'll switch back to all creatures. Now, really? We just need a good herbivore. Armor Matter. And, I don't know, Serizinosaurus? I think... This will be the easiest battle by far. So this is the other one. Cryoloborgiana. I think I, I mentioned this in my top 10 creatures. It's just not up there. So the DNA that it costs, it's really not worth it. At all. So yeah, two hits kills it. Which, even in a tournament. Like, this is the way I'm playing this is how I normally play tournaments. Like, two hits and then a reserve afterwards. Yep. You go for two. You're not going to kill me. Oh, hi! Oh, could it be close? So, you've got nothing. Serizinosaurus. I'll switch Serizinosaurus in. Uh, make sure I can go for one hit. Because otherwise... Uh, maybe I could have. I don't know. Yeah, it's got 11,000. I wanted to make sure at least that... If my if I only had one creature left, it would be armor matter. Because it gets those attack bonuses. But honestly, that's it. I, I probably didn't need to switch... It would have to have gone maybe for an all-out attack to kill me, and then Serizinosaurus could have sweeped afterwards. So it wouldn't have made too much difference, really, there. So that's extra DNA. We'll go... No, 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 no. Go to Charlie. Spin the whale. Where is Charlie? Charlie's going to bite me fingers. All right, okay. And, oh, this is the... I had this battle before, except for instead of saying the sutures, I had something else. Okay, okay. Right! Right. If I put Met Metrophodon in, right? Two hits, kills Interruptor. I'd have to go for one block then. Because Bagiosaurus comes out, switches to Segnosuchus. And then, actually, yeah, yeah, this makes it really easy. These are probably the, the toughest battles. Or maybe not the toughest, just... You really have to think about it, because even if I had a level 40 Charlie, it ain't doing squat in this arena. These, these creatures are too high a level. So here we have to go for one block, because we can get killed in one hit by Segna Sutures. Maybe even two hits by that guy, but I don't think so. Yeah, so we're gonna die. And then what we want to do here, perfect, perfect, because now it only takes one hit for Chroma Spino to come in and kill it. So we have I, I completely forgot we had a level 40 Chrome Spiner. What a world! Well, there you go. It dies. Uh, and you will definitely go for three. Because two can kill me. And I've only got one block. And oh! Played! Could have auto-played this. I could have put in all my moves first. And I, it would, the outcome would have been the same. So there we go. Five attack. How much damage do you do with five attack? 70,000. Woo! Easy, easy. So that's three out of five onto the fourth, the semi-final. We'll go straight back to Charlie. Now, I could get an instant charge back on one. Let's take 38 minutes. I will need to for the final battle arena. And what we got here, lovely, easy battle. Full team of carnivores will do this. We don't even need the best ones at the moment. We can save Indoraptor for later. Normal Scorpius Rex here. Normal. Interesting to see what it's attacked like against Omomata when it gets the extra 50% attack. Oh, it's almost the same. Well, it's it's over. It's over in Scorpius X Gen 2's attack, but with 50% extra, and it's like on par? Oh. Okay, so we'll go for this. God, Scorpius, kill it. Yeah. Right, Sarazinosaurus comes in. Weighing a whopping 8,198 health points. Right. You know what? I don't care. I don't care. I'd rather... Oh, is that a different camera angle? Or is that just because it's Scorpius Rex? 
Let me see the camera go over the top and come down again. Ooh, mm, I like it. It must be because it's scorpions. Right, so it's got one block. Ah, there you go. It doesn't matter. Oh, no, it had two. Well, it doesn't make a difference. Oh, no, it does because it... Yeah, I still have to go for two to kill it. Okay. Okay, did I throw it away? I, no, no, I, th I don't think I've thrown it away. Scorpius Rex won't die in vain. It's got one block. There we go. Oh! Oh! Should've went for more block! Should've went for more block! I forgot Metrophone on it, so tight! I Look, guys. Even the pros make mistakes. Okay. Okay. We'll just pretend we didn't see that. All right? Pretend we didn't... Pretend that didn't even happen. Scrub it from thine eyes. I will use an instant recovery just so we've got that, like, ticking down now. And then I will buy back one of those. Can't believe that. Can't believe that happened. You know what? I'm going to use that again. Uh, wait, did I need to use that? No, I didn't, did I? <laughs> but we'll have to use it in the next battle. Jesus. Okay, so Indoraptor and then... Segno? Hmm. Tricky. Tricky, tricky, tricky. Hmm. I'll go with Segno. You know what? We'll do it. I think... I think we're good. I think. I don't know. I might be. You die, Indoraptor. Two hits, and then one block. Sorry, one reserve. Right, now, will Serizinosaurus go for an all-out hit? Or will it go for a swap? Favoring the extra attack. No, it goes for all-out. Perfect, yeah, we've won. We've won. So that was all-out, and then there we go. There we go. Doesn't matter if Indoraptor dies now. Saying the suit just can come in and one-shot the uh, Metrophodon. I don't know why. I don't know why I made it look so hard. See, completed. Da -da 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 -da. Right. The final, the final, eighty-three thousand from Segno. There, beautiful. Well, I'm just glad we're getting hybrids again, man. It's been so long. I I'm genuinely curious if anyone knows and is watching this. Like, when was the last time we got? Another hybrid, like a good hybrid. Okay, so... Oh, it's a blue, which is brilliant, because that's already going to lower... You know, they've lost a slot by doing that, which is brilliant. Right, Charlie. Let's go to all the creatures. Herbivore. They all cover each other's bases. However, Fly is good. Metrophodon's great, but not against Segnasuchus straight away. So we need something like an Indoraptor. As long as they have a decent attack on them. Even it... You know what it is? I think even Indominus Rex at level 30 could join in on this one. Should I do it? Yeah, go on. You don't need to be a level 30 or level 40, sorry. Go on, Indom, you got this. This is it. This is it. Living life on the edge. Because Metaphodon has terrible... What do we call it? Terrible uh, health. So we'll find out. Whoa! Okay. Now a normal carnivore, you know, level 40 would be able to kill this in, you know, one hit. But Indominus Rex level 30? Still plausible, still doable. And then, the oh, a swap. Oh, it's gonna be one hit kill. Oh, or oh, not. Okay, so you've got one block. <laughs> yeah, 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 you got one block, but uh, you did. Oh, I didn't go for it. Oh, that's, well, I mean, it still lowers its attack <laughs> by swapping, but okay. So, yeah, I, I mean, I'm not worried. I'm not worried. I didn't go for four. We kill it. But I, you know, it would make more sense if it was blue. You know, blue is attacking me. But uh, you know what I would love to see? A hybrid that takes 
all like Charlie, Echo, Blue, Delta, and puts it into one. So here we go, the Charlie pack. Beautifully done. Beautifully won. Mm, thank you. I didn't lose any battles. You didn't see it. Mm, no, 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 no. <laughs> and there we go. So now, I mean, I would put Charlie's in, but honestly, there's no need to at the moment. Because we've got this coming on off cooldown, the Panthera. You know, we need to unlock these guys. I don't know why a Bajadasaurus is apparently one out of three difficulties. See the claw marks down there? And yet Panthera is three out of three. Why? The they both have creatures locked behind tournaments only. Why would one be more difficult? Because you look at th this guy, Canthus Stega, Paris for all of us, both the same. Both won, and yet Bajadasaur, which has so much higher requirements than level 20 commons, is put in the same. I think they I think they just forgot to change up the graphics. So, damn it! I knew there was something. <laughs> okay, okay, so we've got that. Really what we need to worry about now is putting so I mean we got the Krylo. I think we're missing Oh no, we've got all of the Spinos, but I think uh the DNA is being used, or the creation lab. Yep, it's entered. Okay. Are you being done? Okay, they're all still being processed. So then we can really look, because we've already got Scrubby's Rex Gen 2's ingredients ready. We can look at Bajadasaur. So again, we need even more Spinos. Activate. And then we and this is that's a little handy shortcut. I didn't realize. Just click on it again. Click on the Spinosaur in there. No, don't have to go all the way through the menus all over again. We've got a hot discount at the moment. And that's one, two, three. Is it worth really at this point? I don't I don't really mind. Uh activate a regular incubator for 35, yes. I mean, how long do we have left before the, the hatches come back? Five days and one day for the instant creation. So tomorrow I'll probably just instant create something and, and whatever. But for the hatcheries or the instant hatches, I don't really need to worry about it. Uh and then for this last one. Because it's, you know, 50 bucks. We may as well put something in that we need and will take a long time. Because that one will stay up there. It doesn't come down. In fact, I don't think they do that anymore. So it's this guy. And we have two of them. We could instant hatch this. It's 250. But I think we're okay just putting in there. It will take six days. And I think it's 14 days until we need it. So we do need four of them. And we've got enough time. We've just got enough time to get this. I think it's, it's, it's definitely doable. Because all we need is to fill up the whole row of hatcheries with Mylodon. And then that's done. And is it Lambio or Sinsato? Sin... Is it Sinsato? Sintao. Sintao. <laughs> Let's go over these nicknames. Oh. Why are people yelling at me? That's its name. Oh, hold on. We've got extra uh, thingies here. We've got a 200. Win 10 battles with Terrasaurs. And win 3 battles with Charlie. Get in! Look at her! <laughs> Give me the points. <laughs> I don't know, it's my autism side, I think. It's like, oh, I love seeing numbers go up. And go. <laughs> but anyway, uh, yes, let's um, put a pin in this for later for when somehow or some, well, we know it's coming. We know we've got the Spino and we've got Scorpius Rex Gen 2 coming out. I'm looking forward to those. But until then, guys, enjoy the rest of your day, and I'll see you in another video. Oh, bye-bye.